Infectious diseases are capable of being spread from one person to another. Infectious diseases are transmitted by microorganisms. Microorganisms cause the disease. Infectious disease microorganisms are not harmful to you as long as you prevent these microorganisms from entering your body and then expose you to dangerous diseases are by a puncture wound with a contaminated instrument, by a puncture wound with a contaminated needle, from contact of contaminated blood or saliva with an ungloved hand that has broken skin, from failure to handle biohazardous waste properly, by the splattering of contaminated blood or saliva into the eyes while failing to wear protective eyewear, or by the splattering of contaminated blood or saliva into the nose or mouth while failing to wear a mask. Remove unnecessary items from the treatment room. The fewer things contaminated, the easier the cleanup. Plan materials needed for treatment. This will eliminate the need for you having to get things after your gloves are contaminated. Use disposable items whenever possible. This will leave you with fewer things to clean and disinfect. Use prearranged tray setups to eliminate forgotten items. Use sterilizable burr blocks to make cleanup easier. Use a rubber dam when possible to cut down on aerosol contamination. Leave the patient chart out of the treatment room to keep it from getting splattered. Review it prior to treatment and make notes following treatment. The Occupational Safety and Health Administration, or OSHA, is a federal agency created in 1970 to protect workers from hazards in the workplace. OSHA establishes and enforces infection control procedures in hospitals, clinics, and medical and dental offices. The Bloodborne Pathogen Standard established by OSHA provides guidelines which healthcare workers use to treat patients. OSHA recommends that a universal precautions approach should be taken with all patients, which means all patients should be treated as if they were infectious. Don't take any chances. The most common dental emergencies are an avulsed or knocked out tooth, a tooth broken in an accident, excessive bleeding from an accident or possible broken jaw, bleeding from a recent extraction, swelling or pain, a broken tooth with no associated physical trauma, and loose crowns. An avulsed tooth is a tooth which has been knocked right out of its socket as a result of trauma. The doctor will usually ask the patient to try to replace the tooth in the mouth if he or she is comfortable doing it. Otherwise, the dentist may advise the patient to place the tooth just inside his or her lips or into a jar of milk and come right over to the office. The patient is advised not to wash the tooth. Most of the medical emergencies seen in the dental office are not life-threatening and they include fainting, tachycardia, hyperventilation, hypoglycemia, reactions to nitrous oxide, convulsions or seizures, allergic reactions, or swallowing an object. Tachycardia or rapid heartbeat can occur for several reasons, the most common being result of stress or sensitivity of some patients to the epinephrine in lidocaine or in the crown and bridge retraction cord. Should this occur, place the patient flat and calm them down. The tachycardia usually subsides in two to three minutes. Patients on nitrous oxide will occasionally develop nausea and vomiting with no notice at all. 
It's important to get the mask off quickly. Turn them on their side to prevent vomit from getting in their lungs. Other symptoms you see are paranoia or fear and not knowing where they are. In this case, turn off the nitrous gradually and administer oxygen while calming the patient down verbally.